A million tons of carbon emissions sequestered permanently that would have otherwise gone to the atmosphere, that's a significant contribution to meeting our GHG emissions reductions goals. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5. Five five. I'm Rachel Gregory, and chatting with me today is Candace Patton, Director of Regulatory Affairs and External Relations with Enhanced Energy. Candace is also recognized as an energy industry influencer. Candace, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Rachel. It's great to be here. Enhanced Energy specializes in carbon capture and sequestration in central Alberta. And in June 2020, the Alberta Carbon Trunk Line ACTL system became fully functional. Can you tell us more about this large scale CCUS system and the solutions you offer? So we work with our partners, Northwest Redwater Partnership and Nutrien in the Alberta Industrial Heartland near Edmonton. And they capture carbon emissions from their operations, in the refining and fertilizer production facilities. And then we transport those emissions down this remarkable pipeline called the Alberta Carbon Trunk Line. It's a 240 kilometer pipeline that's specifically built for carbon dioxide. And it is actually right now the world's largest anthropogenic carbon emissions transportation system. So when we get those carbon emissions down to our fields in Clive, we inject them into a very old and depleted hydrocarbon reservoir. And so when we put CO2 emissions in the ground there, they actually liberate some of the oil that that remains and we can now produce that to surface and we generate this low carbon energy. The other product that we produce then is an offset credit because all of those carbon emissions that are being put in the ground are sequestered permanently. We hear about offset credits often in the news. How does industry verify offset emission credits and how has Alberta set up to enable huge scale reductions in offset emissions? It's one of the things I think we're most proud of at Enhanced Energy. We've been working hand in hand with the Alberta government and the regulator to build what's called an MMV plan for monitoring, measurement and verification. And that's really, I think, where we're playing to Alberta's strengths. Leveraging what we know about our regulatory system and the oversight that we've built through hundreds of years in our oil and gas industry. Industry. We're now using that to, to look at how we can make sure those carbon emissions are safe, permanent, and stored in our geology in ways that are verifiable. And what an opportunity for Alberta and Canada, because we have such certainty around the permanence of these emissions being stored in our geology, that these offsets are, are valuable, they're verifiable, and they represent real reductions in emissions and Enhanced Energy recently celebrated a huge milestone of having captured and sequestered 1 million tons of carbon dioxide. Uh, so what is Enhanced Energy's role in the energy transition and helping Canada to reach its global climate targets? We are so proud to have celebrated uh, this milestone. A million tons of carbon emissions sequestered permanently that would have otherwise gone to the atmosphere. That's a significant contribution to meeting our GHG emissions reductions goals. We've got the opportunity to grow that to just over 14 uh, million tons a year. Depleted hydrocarbon reservoirs represent hundreds and hundreds of megatons of capacity for CO2 storage. And then when you add saline aquifer projects and, and CCS, it's on the order of gigatons of emissions reductions potential for Canada. So I think there's a real opportunity here to support Canada's goals on climate change. What innovation are you seeing in the carbon capture space and why is it such an exciting time to be a part of it? It really is such an exciting time, Rachel, to be part of innovation in this space. We're seeing amazing advancements across the whole carbon value chain from capture and conversion advancements to utilization to sequestration. There's so many different approaches. What I'm most excited about though, is this idea of systems level integration and, and innovation along the whole energy system. We know it's important when we talk about energy transition to see multiple energy pathways that can support us getting to our climate change goals. It's the same thing with carbon emissions and our goals around climate. Recently, Enhanced Energy and Nautical Energy partnered up on a net zero blue methanol facility in Alberta. Can you tell us how partnerships such as this one are vital as we transition to a low carbon economy? I think what's so neat about collaborating with companies like Nautical is that 
they focus on what they do best, which is producing methanol at commercial scale. And they can partner with us. So we focus on what we do best. And in doing so, gives them a solution to manage their carbon emissions. And that's really exciting. I think it speaks to how all parts of the energy industry, when we come together, when we integrate those solutions, when we collaborate, we've got this. It was so great chatting with you and learning about Enhanced Energy and the amazing work that you guys are doing in our province and within Canada. Thank you so much, Rachel.